Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And since the year is closing out, I figured I'd make a video on how to do a few New Year's graphics here in After Effects. We're gonna break down some essential New Year's graphics like how to do a count up expression, uh, how to add firework motion graphics, and how to add some nice uh, background scenery to put together a really cool New Year's scene. So if you're ready to get started, be sure to drop a like on this video as it helps out tremendously and let's jump in. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to do a count up expression on your title so you can have it scroll up from saying zero to uh, 2023. So I have this broken down into two text layers, but it doesn't really matter you know, how big or small your number is. To do a count up expression, it's very easy. So what you're gonna do is come here to effect and go to expression controls and grab a slider control. Make sure it's applied to your text layer. Then you're gonna open up your text layer and go to source text, alt click the stopwatch, and grab the pick whip and parent it to the slider control. You'll see that the slider here will now dictate the number. So what we wanna do is make sure the slider is set to zero, add a keyframe for slider, move forward in time, and set it to whatever number you want to say. Now if we scroll back, you'll see it turns into a decimal point. So what we need to do is go into the expression, go to the beginning, type in capital M math dot round, and then do an open parenthesis and go to the end and do a close parenthesis and this will make sure it's a whole number. Now, one thing I actually wanna do is make sure that this is gonna be a double zero. So we need to add a prefix. To do this, we'll go back to the beginning of the expression and we'll do open quotations. We'll do zero, close quotations, space plus space. So we added a prefix like this and now we have a double zero. So as we scroll through here, you'll see that this will actually end up in the triple digits. We don't want that. So to fix this, all we're gonna do is right before it goes into the triple digits, uh, right at that last frame there, grab your text layer and go to edit split layer and then hit U twice to bring up the expression on the new layer here and go into the expression and just delete the prefix. And there's our workaround. So the next technique I want to talk about here is how to create some accent fireworks. So real quick, I'll go ahead and hide everything. We'll come here to the top and we'll grab the pen tool. One thing I'll turn on is the action safe. So I'll come here to the crosshair icon, turn on title action safe. This way we can work from the center of our composition and we'll click a point here right at the center. Hold down a shift and click on a point for a straight line like this. Then let's go into our shape layer, go to add and add a repeater, open it up, go into transform repeater one, set the X position to zero and we'll come here to rotation. We can set it to 90 degrees and we'll set the number of copies to four. And then we come here to Y anchor point and we can just increase this and this will spread apart our lines like so. Then we'll go into add and add a trim pass. We'll open this up. We'll set the end to 0%. We'll come here to the beginning of our timeline, add a keyframe for start, move forward to maybe a second or so, set up to 100%. And we'll go back a little bit, add a keyframe for end, go past that last start keyframe and set that end up to 100%. So feel free to refine your keyframes, but here's what we have at the moment. And we can variate this very quickly by, first of all, let's come here to the pan behind tool, control double click it so that anchor point be right there in the middle. Then we grab our shape layer, go to edit, duplicate, hit R and keyboard for rotation, set the rotation to 45 degrees. And now we come here to stroke color and we can change the color if we wish to do that. And we can offset this in time by a little bit. And here's what we have a nice accent graphic that we can use as a firework. One thing I challenge you to do is be able to create a straight line that you can use as a firework shooting up in the sky. And then you have your burst graphic here. And the line is the same principle. Just draw out a straight line with your pen tool and apply the trim pass effect. Once all said and done, grab your firework graphics, go to layer pre-compose, call it firework. And one thing I like to do is actually go back in the composition Come here to the end of the animation, hit N on your keyboard, and this will shorten the work area. Right click on your work area bar and click trim comp to work area. Okay, and then we go back into the previous composition. Then right click our firework layer, go to time and click on enable time remapping. You'll see the two keyframes here, alt click stopwatch and type in loop out, just like this, make sure it's a capital O. And this will repeat the firework animation continuously forever. So now we can take our firework, move it around our composition, duplicate it. So now we have these duplicated firework effects that will be repeated throughout our composition. I also offsetted the layers in our timeline as well. And of course, before we move further into our video, if you like saving time while producing awesome work, we have over 18,000 templates for you to use here in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the template packs we have, and don't forget to download your free packs here for Premiere Pro and After Effects. 
Now the next thing I want to add to our composition is this nice city background here just to have a foreground object so it can be any landscape sort of object you're looking for. Uh, I downloaded this from a website called freepick.com. Uh, if you want to learn how to work with Illustrator files and work with them in After Effects, check our link in the description. I'll go through the entire workflow in that tutorial. Uh, but you can download our project files and just get this city background here. Uh, that you can just import into your main composition. We'll put it underneath everything. Since this is an Illustrator file, we can click on this continuously rasterize icon, which allows us to hit S on our keyboard for scale and scale this up without losing any detail. Then we can reposition this where we want this to be. I'm gonna make this sure this is really low underneath our main title here. And I'll come here to effect, generate, fill. You can change the color of this to whatever color we wish it to be. So then I wanna use this as an opportunity to have some camera movement. So what I'll do is come here to layer new null object and I'm going to grab everything except for the background layer if you have one and, and parent all these layers to the null object. Come here to the beginning of our timeline, hit P on keyboard forward position, add a keyframe, move that keyframe forward in time and then adjust the Y value so we can have this nice, you know, pan or, you know, camera movement shot here. So by following these techniques, you can put together a really cool, unique scene for New Year's or if your future projects for 2023. Perhaps your New Year's resolution is to learn motion graphics moving into 2023, so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you want more tutorials like this, and always be creating.